The village concept began more than 12 years ago in Boston, Massachusetts, when Susan McWinney Morse and her neighbors got together to try to find a way to stay in their homes in the Beacon Hill area. When we initially started Beacon Hill Village, there were 11 of us who got together one cold November day with this abstract determination that we're not going anywhere. But we wanted to be responsible by not going anywhere. We didn't want to have to depend upon our children who might live across the country. So after two years, we formed this organization that seemed to fit our needs. And it was at that point we understood, began to understand, that maybe we had tapped in to a whole movement. The movement is spreading across the country and national borders. There now are more than 100 villages in the U.S., Canada, Australia, and the Netherlands. More than 120 more are in development. The villages share information and support each other. Not all follow the same model. Some provide paid maintenance or have a paid staff. Others, like Capitol Hill Village, provide vetted vendors who may offer a discount, but all rely on donations and volunteers like Casey Chandler. It's the sort of things, little things, that the village can do. Count your pills out for you once a week. You know, sort your mail. You know, get you in touch with a plumber. All those sort of things that make people end up in assisted living. Casey visits Charles Rubio once a week. Charles is the primary caregiver for his partner. The volunteers who relieve me are a great uh, distressor. I mean, I need to get away sometimes from taking care of someone else uh, 24 hours a day. I like the uh, camaraderie of, of the people I meet there. Uh, they're all my neighbors. Community is a big aspect of service for many of the members. So people get together to play games, they get together to go to movies, they get together to uh, read books and have book clubs. And one of the, the things that we learn about aging is that social relationships are very important to keep us happy <laughs> and well.